welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are back with another video and it has been such a long time since I have done a haul of any kind, let alone it being a Primark haul. I'm so excited. I could have bought a lot more than what I actually got, but to be fair, I've come out of two massive bagfuls, so give and take. Yeah, I have got so much stuff. If you haven't been Primark recently, then I would highly recommend going now don't walk run to primark because it's literally insane in there at the moment so yeah i could easily go back this weekend and just buy another load of stuff basically it's so good so i'm super excited to show you what i've bought and um, before i do start the video if you do enjoy it please do give it a big thumbs up and also as well hit that subscribe button i am now two subscribers away from 500 so it would mean the absolute world if we could get to 500 by the end of the year. Got my candles lit here, feeling all autumnal. I am ignore me as well. I am literally in my office get up, but you know, um, full-time work life, you know, you get me. Anyway, I am here with two massive Primark bags. So yeah, plenty of stuff to show you. Honestly, I, I went shopping on Sunday. It's now Monday. I wanted to wear some of the stuff that I got for work today, but I was like, no, I'm gonna be good. I'm not gonna touch it, I'm not gonna wear it. I'm not touching it until I've done a haul. So literally the stuff that's in these bags has not been touched since the checkout lady packed them. So it's been killing me. I had to just film it tonight because I've, otherwise I just couldn't have stared at the stuff for much longer. So here we are, I'm rambling. I just want to crack on with the video and show you what I've got basically because I'm so excited to show you. So yeah, let's get on with it. Firstly, I picked up this cute little jumper. It's sort of like balloon stuff. I'll make sure I don't catch fire to it. <laughs> it's got these really cute balloon sleeves and then it goes into like a little cuff and it's got like little pearls on it. So I got this in an extra small in a six to eight. Normally I size up on my jumpers mainly because I like them biggy. <laughs> I like them baggy, but this looked quite big on its own anyway. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, I thought this was so cute. Maybe to have tucked in like a skirt for work or something, or with a pair of like leather trousers and like Chelsea boots. Oh, I just love it. And like, I think, I think pearls are in like massively at the moment. I don't know if you guys saw my birthday vlog that I posted last week, but I was wearing a blazer and that also had white pearls all over it. So it must just be a thing and I'm actually loving it. Like I literally love little white pearls. Next, I picked up this like brownie turtleneck jumper. I did actually size up in this and I did get a size medium, which is a 12 to 14. Um, what is that on it? Oh, a bit of fluff. Oh no, it's a random bit of white sewn into it. Huh? Can you see that? It's like sewn into it. Oh, great. What the hell? How did I not notice that? It's like literally sewn into the jumper. And it's just gonna look like I've constantly got something on my top. Might have to take this one back, but re really cute, like brown knitted jumper, baggy arms. I'm trying to show you as best I can. But yeah, I just thought that would look so cute. Like either with like a pair of like creamy brownie leggings, like as a chilled vibe, or could even wear this like dressed up with a pair of like leather leggings as well. Just thought that was so nice. And it's honestly so soft. And I haven't actually got any like brown jumpers like that. So yes. So the next one is like one of my favorite ones. And it's this like stripey sort of half zip neck jumper which I thought was so nice. I literally love it. I thought this could either go nicely with like a pair of blue skinny jeans or like a pair of like black leggings and then some like sliders and socks as like a real comfy chill vibe. So yeah, really excited to kind of try that on. I got that in a size small, which is a 10 to 12. Next, we've got some undies. I'm gonna flash these really quickly, but we've got some brown sets. And then we also got some like little pinky ones, <laughs> um, but I'm not gonna flash my underwear too much. Next, I've got like really basic, it's in a size small, 10 to 12, and it's literally just a sort of gray under shirty, turtly ribbed top. 
thought this would just be really cute. I've got a lot of like, what are they called? Pinafores, that's it. I've got a lot of pinafores and like dresses that I wear for work and I thought that would look cute underneath one of them or even just like tucked into a skirt. Thought that would be really cute and it was literally a six quid, like six quid. Next I then got, see I've, these are in fashion a lot last year and I never got one, never thought I could really pull it off but I'm, I wanna go all out this year for autumn winter fashion vibes. I really wanna go all out. I really actually want to get one of those fedora hats. I think they're such a vibe. I think they're so nice. It's just obviously whether I can style it or not. But I saw this and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to get it. So it's like a sleeveless jumper. I see a lot of people wear these with obviously like a white collared shirt underneath. So I definitely want to give that a go. Um, I couldn't find any white shirts in Primark. So I just kind of got this. And I got this in a size six to eight as believe it or not, that's a size six to eight apparently. So yeah, thought that'd be really cute. Just needs to get a shirt to go underneath it. I'm not sure how I would style it without a shirt underneath it if I'm completely honest, but I literally love sitting on Instagram for ages looking at like fashion ideas and I save them all. So yeah, love that. Next is like one of the items that I was dying to wear to work today, but I've waited out. And it is this skirt. It's so cute. So it's almost like a skirt looking thing. So you've kind of got the pleated part here and then it goes like normal here, um, which I thought was so cute. I got this in a size 10 only because it doesn't feel like it's got much stretch in it. And I have got really big hips. So I just wanted to make sure that I had plenty of room. The only annoying thing is if it is big, I haven't got a belt, but I didn't want to risk it in the eight because I feel like that would have been too small to get on the out hips and bam you know next i got some pjs if you don't go into primark and get some pjs then did you even really go to primark don't even answer that because it's a no anyway i got some bambi pjs how cute are these this is not my favorite color like sage green is like my favorite color i got these in a size small so 10 to 12 mainly because who likes sleeping in tight pajamas not me i like them to be baggy and comfy so i went for a size up in these they come with a really nice floral pattern bottom and then the top i don't know if you can see there but the um bottoms are cuffed so yeah can't go primark without getting a pair of pajamas it's just not never gonna be done next purchase i'm really excited about oh it's got all creased in the bag but it's a green shirt I saw this and I was like, OMG, believe it or not, this is in a size eight. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, but I thought that would be really cute paired with like to go out in with a pair of like blue jeans, like a white strap top underneath, some white heels maybe, or something like that. Or even like black, like leather trousers, black t-shirt and then like black heels, either done up or undone, either way depends how saucy you're feeling but I think that would be such a nice look on a night out or even just with like a unitard or a pair of cycling shorts but we're past the cycling shorts weather now we are officially now in winter like it's so cold outside next is the exact same as the cream but I got it in grey because I literally I've just not got any skirts for work I think I've got one and it's just it's just basic and boring so I wanted to get some more skirts to actually pair some of the tops that I've actually got that I just don't wear. So thought that was really, really cute. Again, pleated. I haven't tried any of this on, so some of this might even be going back because it doesn't look right. But I just thought this skirt was so cute. It's so thick as well, so it would definitely keep me warm in the winter. And yeah, I just really like the half-half vibes. Love it. Absolutely love it. Picked up this little beanie hat. I haven't got a cream one, I think I've got a grey and a black one. So I thought this one was really cute. Can't go wrong with a little hat. And that was just a standard one size fits all. I then picked up some of these little mini clips. How cute, a pound by the way, a pound. Picked up a bargain there. Next, I'm actually really excited for this buy and it's one of the reasons why I'm wanting to do this video so quickly after buying it all is because I want to use it for work tomorrow and that is a little lunch bag. It's so cute. It's not as big as I thought it was going to be. On the picture it shows it to be a lot bigger 
but basically it literally just opens up i just can't get over how cute it is like it's actually the cutest little thing so i think look at that how cute is that you can just slide your lunchbox in there and you're good to go pretty much and the best part is comes with a little handle and not only that but like a a little like i'm ready for work guys see you tomorrow yeah how cute is that such a perfect little size it's not too big because i don't like carrying too much it's just perfect amount like it's a perfect size to carry my lunchbox in so i'm so excited to use that tomorrow so yeah Finally done the video so I can finally take that into work. I got some lint rollers because I have been meaning to purchase some of these for ages. My clothes keep getting covered in fluff. So these are literally a godsend. Absolutely love it and I finally own one and it was literally £1.50. So, and not only that, but they give me a spare one on the side as well. So bargain of course now we are coming up to winter autumn you know whatevs couldn't go in to primark without getting a pair of tights these are the 100 dernier tights they are the soft touch opaque tights with weather sensor finish so keeps you warm when it's cool and cool when it's warm um so many of pairs of tights that i've got but a lot of them now are getting a bit worn and yeah new ones were in need then next i got these magic hair clips i thought these would be really good so like if i'm doing skincare or taking my makeup off just to clip my hair out of the way or even like now i'm still in a bit of a debate of what to do with my hair obviously i've had it cut short but i am kind of wanting to have it back long i really don't know i'm so annoying with my, when it comes to my hair because i've never made my mind up with it but yeah, if I was to go back long and obviously curling it and things like that, putting it to the side, I just thought that they were really cute. And for £2, you can't really complain. I then picked up, it's pretty boring, but standard purchase was some face wipes. These are the Pink Grapefruit Biodegradable Facial Cleansing Wipes. Um, so I thought they sounded quite nice as I don't like grapefruit the fruit, but I like the scent. So excited to try those and they were literally a pound a pack. Oh, it was a twin pack, so it was a pound for both. Love that. I didn't even realise. And then last but not least, I'm really sorry, guys, but I'm actually coming to an end, and I feel like I've just literally rushed this, but I didn't want it to be a long video, do you know what I mean? But it is a pair of invisible socks. These are sport footies. They give me a comfort top, reinforced heel and toe, and ventilation mesh. The reason why I've got these is I obviously go boot camp, and lately I've been getting like this really bad pain in my foot. I did mention that in my vlog, uh, in my what I got for my birthday video when I got my new trainers. But I have been told that socks can also help that as well. There is actually like special socks that can help. So I'm hoping that these maybe help with the aches that I get in my feet. But who knows? I shall let you guys know. I'll keep you updated. And yeah, that is pretty much everything that I got in my Primark haul. I love every single item, but I can't really say that just yet as I haven't actually tried any of it on, which is a bit risky, do you know what I mean? But I'm praying, fingers crossing, that everything's going to fit, hence why I've done the video now so that I can just get it all tried on and then find out. But yeah, I hope nothing has to go back because I actually really like everything I've bought and I reckon I'm going to get a lot of good use out of it. So yeah. Really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I've tried to keep it as short as possible because I know sometimes I can blab on ridiculous amounts. You know what to do? Hit that big thumbs up for me because it will honestly mean the world. And yeah, keep your eyes peeled for some more videos coming soon. I'm not quite sure what I've got coming up, actually. So next Friday, I am actually going to what's called the trail of terror and it's at colchester zoo and i'm going with my two best friends kelsey and l so i am thinking of vlogging that i'm not sure how much of it i'm going to be able to vlog i'm not sure i don't know i'm gonna to have to go on the website and see if you're actually allowed to film what happens there so yeah i'll let you know if you, you you'll find out if you see a video then i was allowed but yeah, I would quite like to vlog that as it's a Halloween sort of video and Scaresville isn't going ahead this year. So this is the sort of replacement for Scaresville. So I would like to vlog that next weekend. So look out for that video. 
but yeah other than that i shall see you in my next video i've said video a lot of times and yeah love you all bye also don't forget to subscribe love you